Hey beautiful people, it's Rakina back with another video. So I got this comment asking about the self. So how long did it take before you started to see an increase in your credit score? How many points did you get in that time frame? Like 20 points in six months? Like what is it? So I want to answer this question here and I want to make sure that you guys understand that everybody want to see different increases based off of the different things that's on everyone's credit reports. A lot of people still have negative accounts and are trying to increase their credit scores. And if you guys have negative accounts and you're trying to increase your credit scores, like somebody that don't have any negative accounts, you're going to find that you're not going to get the increase like they have. Like here's a sample report right here. Okay. If you see all of these accounts at the top, all these accounts right here is negative. They're all bad. What if somebody only got this one collection on their credit reports and now they're working to get their credit score increased? They're going to see a, their credit score really, really increase because they don't have negative accounts listed. So you have to understand that if you have a lot of accounts like those, like all of those up there was negative. Now we finally get into the positive accounts. If you have all of these negative accounts, like they have listed, that's five already, six, eight, no, nine. If you have negative accounts like this, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. These are, this is a lot of negative accounts. We already had 18. We had 21. This is a lot of negative accounts. So you cannot compare your credit reports to someone else's, but I'll still show you how you can increase your credit score 100 points while you're building your credit because a lot of people want to actually increase their credit score while they're building their credit. That's the whole point of building credit. So if you guys want to go to my website, schedule a call with me if you need me to look at your credit reports. That's first off. You need me to look at your credit reports. You just don't know. You watch a video and you think you understand it. Let me talk to you because I might have some other clues for just you. You may have a different situation going on. So definitely schedule a call with me and I'll be able to help you figure out your personal situation. But if you look right here, the best credit cards for bad credit, this is where you can see the self on there, which is what I suggest to a lot of people. Um, and when I personally had myself, they said, since I've been with self, my credit scores went up over 160 something points. So I always tell people to get that self. And it wasn't just self that did that. It was other accounts too. So definitely still get that self. And then make sure you have at least four credit cards reporting. If you have that, then you're going to see that your overall credit score does go up. So that's why I tell people have at least four credit cards reporting. If you do that, then you're going to see your credit scores go up You know, over 100 points usually. You also want to make sure you keep your utilization down. So you can see right here, 85 point increase using that self visa. They have to sell visa and they got to increase. That's because that's a credit card. You want to keep your balance low. So if you got a $200 limit on self, you really should not have more than $10 reporting to the credit bills. Once you get to that point where you have less than $10 reporting, that's when you're going to see your credit score is going to be at its highest. So make sure if you got any other credit cards right now, you just have a high balance on them. They're good cards. They don't have any late payments. Or even if they have one or two late payments, work to remove your late payments. I have late payment dispute letters here that you can use. These are dispute letters that I have used. I've gotten results with. So I suggest that you guys use them also. And you see it's a late payment dispute letter package. You get six letters in here and it's only $27. And $27 remove them late payments. You know that is really, really good. So definitely check that out, but make sure you pay down that credit card too, okay? Pay down that credit card and remove your late payments. You're going to see your credit scores go up, go up from just that too. Now, make sure, like I said, you have four credit cards. I tell people don't delay it. Start building your credit as soon as possible. And usually people that are watching me, um, they want to have a decent amount of credit, but they really just want a house. They want to have like sixty, seventy thousand dollars in credit cards for an emergencies, or they like to do some traveling. Um, I have some people that's doing this for business. They trying to set up their credit credit for business, but that's not the majority. I feel like the majority of people that watch me, they just need to get their credit score built up. So if they want to get a nice car loan, they want to get a nice house, they want to get some nice credit cards. They're able to do that, and that's why I tell people to go through these steps here. Because if you go through these steps, we we'll make sure you got four credit cards, you keep the balance low, um, make sure you remove any of your negative accounts. You're gonna see your credit scores go up a lot, but again, it's gonna be different. I have seen someone's credit scores go up 87 points before they even got the credit card because they report before you can get the credit card in the mail. And that's because their credit report was dying for a credit card. They're like, I need some good reporting. Once that credit card was added, it went up 87 points. 
And I couldn't believe it, but it really did go up. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is really good. So that's why I tell people, just make sure you have four credit cards, keep the balance low, and you're going to see your credit scores go up. And I say push for 100 points. And I'm thinking too, that you're in the 500s or in the early 600s, that way it can get you to the sevens, um, like the 700s, 710s. That's what I'm thinking about. And that's how you're going to get a hundred point increase. If you already at 680, you know, that means that you already got credit cards reporting. You just really need to keep your balance low. Or sometimes you got to wait a month or two, or maybe even six months, let it keep reporting. Make sure you don't have any negative accounts. You remove your inquiries. And if you guys have like inquiries, or if you don't want to start off with these packages here, I suggest you get my free dispute letters because you're going to get a dispute letter for your inquiries. You're going to get a dispute letter for the negative accounts listed. Like this is the inquiry dispute letter that you all are going to get. Send this letter in to the credit bureaus to remove those inquiries or just call the credit bureaus to remove them. But if you follow all those different steps, I'm pretty sure that your credit score is going to go up and you're going to see that 100 point increase that you really want to see. Okay. And remember, everybody, they're in different situations. Okay. So when you come here, you can see I got different types of lists. I have Rakita top credit cards. Those are credit cards that I really love in general. Um, pre qualify with no hard inquiry. These are the credit cards that can pre qualify you without a hard inquiry. And I love this list because this is the list that I would go to too to see, like, okay, what card could they get? Because pre qualify without a hard inquiry means. They're going to let you know yes or no on whether or not they're going to give you a credit card without giving you a hard inquiry. So self, they're not going to give you a hard inquiry at all. And they don't even care what your credit score is like. This is a great secure card. Plus, on top of that, you can get the installment account. So you will have two accounts with them, which is really amazing. Reporting to the credit bureaus. Credit builder card, they don't care what your credit is like at all. They're not going to go and do a credit check and say, hey, you got a 400 credit score. We're not giving you a credit card. That's not what they're about. And they'll allow you to get two of them, which is really amazing. Kickoff, you got to be careful. I only suggest that installment account, but this can actually help you increase your credit score. Because I know on this image, you can see someone, their credit score went up 74 points. And they said, we found one change on your Equifax report. And it was on-time payments. And it was from kickoff. 74 points, you all. This is why I suggest accounts like this. Now, I suggest the installment loan, though, you guys. Only the installment loan. And that's the one where you pay $10 per month for 12 months. That other one, only going to report the $750. Or sometimes people are getting $2,500. That one is only going to report to two bureaus, Equifax and Experian. I want the one that's going to report to all three credit bureaus. Okay. But like I said, everybody's situation is different. This person was starving for stuff to be reported. They got all their negative accounts removed. You know, when you get your negative accounts removed, if you don't have anything positive, your credit score can still be very low. That's why I tell people, if I were you, that one month when you first start, say if you start in this month, if you start in this month, I will send out the spew letters this month and I'll get four credit cards. Even if I have to get secure, I will start off like that. And I had to do that too when I built up my credit score. And now it's like, oh, you get approved for this $9,000 visa. You get approved for $10,000, $15,000. And it's just because I made sure I started with like secure credit cards. So I suggest that you all do this the same. Don't wait. Um, some people say, you know, just wait until you get all your accounts removed and you go. And that's probably good for people that want to build business credit, you know, because they want to go faster um, and they want to personally guarantee it. But in our case, a lot of people, they just want to get a house. They want to get a car. I suggest that you guys just get your secure cards right away and try to get some that can graduate. Like the Discover is Secure can graduate. The Capital One can graduate. Um, Navy Federal Secure, it can graduate. So I like those different accounts, write those down because those are ones that can graduate, which means like with this Navy Federal, you can put $200 down on this secure credit card. They're going to see the secure credit card. And in three to six months, they're going to keep reviewing your credit and see if they can increase it to $2,000 because that's what they do. So I was saying about six months is going to go to $2,000. And after you get it to $2,000, you can always ask them, can you get an increase? I would say every six months, just ask them for an increase. It's not going to hurt anything. 
ask them right in the app, can you get an increase? And they're going to say, say yes or no. They may increase at $1,000. They may increase your $5,000. But I suggest that you all ask. But that's what you really need to do to get that 100-point increase. And pre-qualify for these credit cards. It's a lot of credit cards on here you can pre-qualify for. And again, if you have any questions or you like, oh, this sounds so nice, but how do I do it? Where am I at? Because everybody in a different stage. Everybody needs to get different accounts. Schedule a call with me. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you all have, but just please have your credit reports available. Um, and I'll be happy to help you with that step too, if you give me a call. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.